Okay, so I got some timber to do new washboards. Um, it's got some of these spots in it, unfortunately, but this is the best timber I could get at the time. It's the same timber I've been using. Um, it's some sort of a mountain ash here from Australia, type of eucalypt. These are five and three eighths. Um, I think they're gonna be a bit short. I'm gonna end up with like five or six of these to make the washboards. So I'm thinking about laminating them together and then cutting them so they're about eight and a half inches. That should give me three boards. Um, here's a template I have. Currently, all I have are two boards. Made out of plywood, painted. I'll throw a picture up. Um, yeah, so we'll cut these down, laminate them together, and then I'll recut them into the correct width. So cut them a bit oversized because I want to put a chamfer and uh, not a tongue and groove, but a rebate on an angle so the water runs off and doesn't hold on them. And uh, I can't remember the dimension. These are three quarter inch thick. I'm pretty sure I have three quarter inch ply as the boards. If not, the opening for the washboards, the companion way, it, uh, I'll go through my sketches now, take a look, see if I have the dimensions, but worst case, I'll just rebuild it. It needs a bit of rebuilding anyway when we get back to the boat in a couple months. Okay, so a quick look at the templates. I line it up, maybe make it a bit oversized. It definitely takes two full-size boards to replace the bottom panel of plywood and the top panel if I line it up it's gonna take two and almost but not quite three so I could go with five boards but like I said I think I might want to go three so kind of a board and a half a board and a half two boards so maybe a board and two thirds, a board and two thirds. And that would leave a board and two thirds. So that actually works out well. All right, so I'm gonna have to glue the panels up and then cut them on the table saw. Okay, so I've done a bit of flipping the boards back and forth, up and down. And I think as a solid panel, this side, and then the other side is similar. Maybe this side matches best in grain and color variation. I am gonna stain it, and then so does the other side. Um, I kind of like the bit of figure that's showing up here, and I'll probably use a scraper plane as the final prep. Uh, There's a couple little tiny holes. I will fill that with black epoxy. But I think right now, to get three panels, I'm gonna glue these five together and then on the template, put them together. I may have to put six together due to saw cuts and overlaps, actually. Let me just move this down, line it up with the template. I should cut this edge off. Let's do that now and just see how close we're gonna get. that side up we've got overlap of approximately I will have to grab a tape measure not very much about an inch and a half so inch and a half three panels that's a half inch overlap quarter inch rabbit in each I think I'm gonna put a fifth panel on here just to be safe. 
correction, a, a sixth panel just to be safe. And then I have room to lay the template out and cut these and put in the rabbits and rebates. Okay, so I think that's gonna be the layup of the panels. Uh, this also makes it easier in that I can just shape the rabbits here and here, put them back together now that it's such oversized and it's gonna be kind of like this. And um, just have a wide middle board and a slightly narrower but very similar top and bottom boards and that definitely will work. So, while it's like this, I'm going to grab a pencil, make some marks here, label them one, two, three, so that I remember the order. Okay, hopefully even I can't screw that up, but at least I can go back and check the video to see the order they were in. Now it also is gonna make the glue up easier. I just have to glue two panels, two panels, two panels. Definitely much simpler to keep them flat and straight. Okay, so I got the first panel out. There's a very slight, like half a mil space on both sides, and that's okay. I can uh, scrape that out. On this second panel, I was much more careful to make it flat, and it feels like there's gonna be no space, or, you know, maybe a tenth of a mil. Definitely something to easily scrape off with a card scraper.